Um, I want to thank the panel for your excellent testimony. Uh, yesterday, the Federal Reserve announced another three and a quarter percent increase in the interest rate to 3.25 percent. And with these higher interest rates, obviously, the industry has collected uh, hey, estimate. I'm sorry. Can you hear me you're, now? You're on. You're on. You just aren't close enough here. All right. Okay. Uh, I will get closer to the. All right, let's begin again. Uh, thank you for being here. Interest rates are going up. I'll cut to the chase. Interest rates are going up, uh, but deposit uh, rates, what you pay for your deposits, are rarely stagnant, very, very low. And it raises the question is that making a substantial amount of money on these increased ra interest rates, uh, why are you not beginning to raise uh, interest rates on deposits? And I'll start with Mr. Sharp. We'll go down. Senator, thank you for the question. Um, we are beginning to raise rates. We have products that have um, a range of alternatives. Um, uh, I think up to uh, uh, a peak of 1.5% um, uh, as of the other day. And as rates continue to rise, we would expect to continue to increase the rates that we pay our customers. Mr. Morning. The rates are already increasing on deposit accounts. and. That that will take place uh, as the rate structure settles in. Uh, you can look back in history and see it. And on top of that, remember that for you know, corporates and and affluent clients, they'll go and buy treasuries and other things directs so their money's moving outside the system. And so, I think if you spot judge it now, you'll see a low you see a low rate structure. It'll increase over time, and then people forget zero interest checking accounts or zero interest in any rate environment. That that is what changes the rate calculation that many people cite. Is it Diamond? Exactly the same as uh, my two colleagues here. Thank you. Ms. Fraser? Yes, we, we have a, a broad range of different uh, deposit products, and uh, we are anticipating continued rise in the deposit rate. Ms. Rogers? We are uh, anticipating that we would have increase in, uh, in our rates on our deposit products. Uh, we have a wide range of products, and we also offer, offer a lot of services other than rate paid to our clients. We want to make sure that we continue to focus on those as well. Consistent with that answer, Senator, we offer a wide range of rates, and I would expect them to increase in the future. And finally, Mr. Depp. Senator, it's an incredibly competitive market. Um, we've raised rates. Rates will continue to go up uh, in line with what the Fed's doing. Well, thank you. Uh, I want to go back to something that we talked about uh, last year, and that's the legislation that Chairman Brown and I have submitted that would establish a nationwide 36 percent interest rate cap. Uh, our goal is, frankly, to uh, eliminate, if we can, predatory lending. Uh, I think even in this uh, rising interest rate environment, you've been able to make substantial uh, profits. Uh, without even approaching 36% interest rate. So I think the number is a valid one. And as you know, we already have that protection for servicemen and women uh, through the def Defense Department and uh, the efforts we've done with the Military Lending Act. Uh, last year when I brought up the issue, uh, there was a consideration that uh, the principle was sound, but you had to look at it. Uh, you've had a year to look at it. So. Uh, would you be able to operate successfully under a 36 percent interest rate? And as such, would you support this legislation? I'll begin with uh, Mr. Schrock. Senator, we, we still continue to believe that what you're trying to solve for uh, is something that we should be supportive of. Um, and we would just want to make sure that uh, in whatever legislation was prepared, there was a contemplation of all rate scenarios to ensure that uh, this didn't result in the reduction of credit in any way for the population you're trying to help. Uh, Senator, uh, similar to my colleague, at the end of the day, this is really relevant to the company, our company in terms of rate structure and things. But I, I would always caution to be careful what you wish for. If you do this outside you know, our industry and other places, does it constrain credit? And I think that's a judgment that you all have to make. But in terms of just a simple number, you know, it's not relevant to us. We don't have anything like that. Yeah, Senator, I totally applaud, oops, I totally applaud the effort to stop payday lenders and, you know, someone else is going here. Um, and I think is we should try to do things like that. 
Uh, and I think for in certain products and services, 36% absolutely works. I just want to give you one example. If we modified it, you can make it work. If I was going to give you, because a lot of you want us to do small loans for you know, three months, four months. So a $400 loan for four months, three months, it would cost us $40 just to process the loan. No interest rate. But because the $40 cost goes into the APR, you know, that would come out as 40%. So if we changed it to the marginal cost of processing loan plus 12%, we would definitely be willing to do something like that to help customers. Thank you. Yeah. Ma'am? Uh, similarly, um, we don't charge 36% um, interest rates and, and completely agree with the principle of uh, the legislation. As my colleague said, the details matter, and we want to make sure that there aren't areas that would inadvertently um, constrain credit, particularly to the more LMI um, uh, borrowers, and as always, very happy to work with your office um, to help achieve the spirit of the legislation. Uh, and Mr. Wright, and my time is expiring rapidly, so I, a very short answer. We would certainly look at the legislation, and I would have same concerns about small dollar lending to make sure that stays within the banking system, and anything that discourages it to leave the banking system, we'd be against. Short-term cash needs are an important priority. Four years ago, working with our regulators, we developed our simple loan product, which offers that fee structure that is well below $50 for the average loan versus $350 for payday lending. Thank you. I don't have anything new to add. Thank you very much.